Hello, in this video, I will tell you the differences between Spooky2 Sample Detizer and Spooky2 Remote. Many users have asked about the differences between Spooky2 Sample Detizer and Spooky2 Remote since they look alike, but actually, they are quite different. Scan function Both Spooky2 Sample Detizer and Spooky2 Remote can be used for bell feedback scans, each with their own features. Spooky2 Sample Digitizer can be used for direct GX scanning of biological samples, urine, saliva, blood, etc. You are not required to be connected by wires. The result of a sample scan is accurate, due to the high ratio of pathogens within the sample. Spooky2 Sample Digitizer is better suited than 10 scans for finding pathogens in your body. Spooky2 Remote can be used to deliver frequencies to your body during pulse bell feedback scans. Spooky2 Pulse measures your heart rate during the frequency scan and is better suited for grading frequencies in the standard databases. Treatment function Treatment using Spooky2 Sample Digitizer is an experimental function. After a GX sample scan has completed, Spooky2 Digitizer can automatically send the resultant frequencies to your body. This is possible because of DNA entanglement. The tissue sample in Spooky2 Digitizer is linked to your body. However, treatments using Spooky2 Sample Digitizer are not very efficient. For this reason, we recommend using a proper Spooky2 Remote, Plasma, or Contact modes to run your scan results. In summary, Spooky2 Sample Digitizer has the unique ability to perform biofeedback scans and apply the frequencies, though we recommend the use of Spooky2 Remote to apply the frequencies for greater effectiveness. Do you know the differences now? What else do you want to know about Spooky2 Remote and Spooky2 Sample Digitizer? Welcome to tell us!